Sony is increasing the price on the PlayStation 5 by 20% in certain markets. And honestly, this is probably not the best move for them to make, especially with the rise of inflation and the country possibly facing a recession. You know, it's not the news that people want to hear. All right. Uh, the United States of America is not being affected by this because obviously we're probably one of the bigger markets and, you know, we're being highly affected by inflation and the increase of uh, price you know, electronics, incre a price increase on electronics and goods. So, you know, we will honestly not benefit off of a video game system increasing. It's, you know, it just doesn't make sense. But I wouldn't be surprised if it came to, to the United States, you know, sooner than later. And if they're really strapped on money and people are still buying the consoles or willing to buy the consoles, I, do, I could possibly see them increasing it by, you know, 100 200 bucks you know and the fact that the matter is that <clears throat> they're the only video game company to increase the price after a few years or two years in this case all right we always hear about price drops a year later a few years later on systems because you know over time the parts get cheaper and you know you you could you know sell it for a little less but what sony claims they're losing money on each system sold but i mean in my opinion you're not the only company nintendo is losing money microsoft is losing money and honestly speaking you have to read your consumer all right if a consumer is not willing to pay 500 bucks for a console because there's some people that refuse to pay 500 i remember when the xbox one came out nobody wanted to pay 500 bucks for a system when you could get a ps4 for 400 why would you think they're gonna pay a 20 percent markup on some on an item that was already expensive and you're not adding any benefit now they haven't announced if they're adding anything but i will hope and I would believe that if you're going to increase the price on the PS5, that you have to offer some type of value to the system. That means you have to offer a free game. Maybe a game or two. Because just for the simple fact I'm looking, we have the Horizon bundle, which is 550 You get a Horizon Forbidden West. And, I mean, I, I'm not good at math. I don't know how long how much a 20% increase, I don't know how much a 20% increase would be or on that 500, I ain't good at that, but I can tell you it's not going to be 550, so you have to offer at least maybe two games, maybe a year of PlayStation Plus or whatever subscription service they want to add to it, maybe add a gift card, I don't know, you have to add some type of value, because if you're just selling the system by itself for 800 bucks in some markets, because that's what the 20% increase is looking like. And um, I can't remember the actual uh, territory, but it was close to 800. Then, you know, what is the value? What are you getting? What are you giving the consumer? Because at this point, I would say Sony dropped the ball because if you guys knew you was losing money, then you should have just came out the gate saying, hey, this is. Uh, $800 concert is how much we're going to sell it to you guys on day one. Then you could drop the price down to five, 500 550 you know, from there. All right. And Meta did this with the Oculus, and they got pushback. And, I mean, they still did it, but don't expect the sales of the Oculus to keep increasing. Yes, uh, on paper, it's still technically the most affordable VR headset, but when you think about it nobody is going to be a fan of a price increase especially when there's nothing offered for the oculus what are they offering it's the same box the same console or well, same headset with the same games nothing new no new specs and nothing so maybe if you threw in a gift card like a you know a hundred dollar gift card for a hundred dollar increase it'll make more sense but in this case it doesn't make sense and microsoft just came out and they stated that they don't have no plans on um, increasing the prices on the Xbox Series lineup. The prices are going to stay the same. And, you know, it's going to stay at the 
you know suggested retail price and this right here is the key move that i think is going to help microsoft hopefully win the generation just for the simple fact they're trying to be consumer friendly and they're watching sony's missteps and they're taking advantage of it just like how they did during the ps4 generation microsoft is doing it all right if microsoft could keep their console and you know what they have money to burn so they could take the loss on the series x if they wanted to cut the price next year to 450 they could take that loss just for the simple fact if they know they can make it back with game pass cool but sony took too many missteps you had a subscription service and you're not giving you know the people subscribing access to first party games on day one messed up because microsoft is doing it then you guys are charging 75 dollars a game for your playstation exclusives which is also a misstep all right My, microsoft is not doing that and even if they was to do that because i did see psychonauts start at 75 it's on game pass so even if you didn't want to pay a 75 you know dollar price tag you have the option just to get the game pass for like what 25 30 bucks try out the game and then boom you still got access to a long list of you know a long catalog of games outside of that it's just it's just a messy thing all around and stuff and not only that but when you got the psvr 2 coming out we still don't have a price on that and it's looking like the system might cost around the same price as a ps4 digital or ps5 right in between because it, it's not going to come out cheaper than 400 i have a feeling not with the specs not with that oled screen they're not going to give that away for 300 350 so all together for you to be locked into the playstation ecosystem you're going to have to spend a lot of money and this is money that is scarce in this type of economy and with a lot of competition coming from xbox and I mean Nintendo. I mean, if you want to consider them a competitor, it's a cheaper alternative. But I mean, right now, Sony is they're trailing behind by a lot, and it's got the fans a little up, you know, a little mad. And if you're not a PlayStation Five owner, you should be mad at this because that just goes to show you how far these companies are willing to go to, you know, make their money. They don't really care about the consumer at the end of the day. And on top of that, if you already have a PS5, you should still be mad because that means your cost of your goods is going to increase because if they can increase the price on the PS5, what makes you think they won't increase the price on the headset, the controller? They already did it on the games. <laughs> so that's just stuff for you guys to think about. You know, it didn't affect the stage yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if we seen a $50 markup soon. All right. But if you guys liked the video, if you guys felt like I was informative, if I gave you guys, you know, good information, good different insight, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification button to stay notified. I do these videos for free. It would really mean a lot. Stay safe. I'm out.